Hey guys, Nintendo Free 21 here. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Blue Version. In the last part, I have got my first Pokemon, got the Pokedex, and delivered Oak's parcel. In this part, we're gonna start off the video by catching a Pokemon. So we're at the Pokemon, and I'm gonna start uh, getting some Pokeballs. I'm gonna start off with five. I wanna get, I don't wanna get too much because I don't wanna be too greedy. All right, so a brand of those say cure your Pokemon from poison. We got some paralyzed heals will cure your Pokemon when they're paralyzed. Yeah, when they can barely move. And Burn Heal, which of course actually cure your Pokemon when they are burning to death. <laughs> yeah, I know. Anyway, so, I only have enough money to get all that stuff. Yeah, as much as I could. Anyway, so, I'm going down to Route 1. Yeah, I'm going down to Route 1. I'm going to walk into the tall grass to get a Pokemon, and the Pokemon I'm going to get is a Pidgey. Yeah, I want Pidgey on my team, because, um... I don't know, it's a perfect flying type. Anyway, so, I'm gonna have to, uh, uh, weaken the Pokemon. You know, the object of catching a Pokemon, you have to weaken it first. Just throw a Pokeball and it, it'll just break out right away. <laughs> yeah, only a stupid trainer will do that. Okay. So... Yeah, I think he's weak enough. Yeah, you have to get this bar between yellow and red, uh, when it's about to die. Alright, you select the items, select the Pokeball, and it'll take three shakes. And there! You got it! And Pidgey is gonna be a permanent member of my team. Alright. And his data also goes inside the Pokedex. So Pidgey, a tiny bird Pokemon, is a foot tall with four pounds and a Pokemon number 16. A common sight in forest and woods. Yeah, it is. It flaps its wings at ground level to kick blinding sand. Wow! Well, that's a good Pokemon. Alright, so I think I have a good nickname for this, uh, Pidgey. Okay, I decided to name him Flappers. I don't know, it fits the name. Alright, so I'm gonna go back into the Pokemon Center, I'm gonna heal my Pokemon up. I'll meet you guys later. Ah, uh, that was a good rest. Alright, now let's check out Flappers' stats, now that I caught him. Alright, Attack 9, Defense 9, Speed 9, Special 8. <laughs> It'll be funny if they're all 9, yeah, that'll be funny. Alright, all he knows is Gus, and he levels up at, with 39 more experience. Alright, so, now that you delivered Oak's parcel, and uh, not that I, yeah, I did in the previous video, the old man is up, and he'll teach how to catch a Pokemon. Which is w worthless, because I already taught you how to catch a Pokemon. Anyway, we're at the first half of Route 2, yeah, this is the first half, but the second half is on the top. And you know what's blocking in the middle? Well, that's where we're gonna go throughout this, uh, the rest of this video. This is... The Viridian Forest! Alright, so to get things started, we're gonna press A right here, and we got a antidote in the tree. So yeah, free antidote. Hmm, I bought four, and got a free one. Five makes five. Alright, so now I'm gonna have to get this item, which is a Pokeball! Free Pokeball so you can start catching Pokemon. And speaking of Pokemon, I ran to one. This one is Metapod. Metapod is uh, a bug Pokemon, and he is a cocoon Pokemon. One of the worthless ones. That's because if you catch him in the wild, all he knows is Harden. Harden will actually rise up your defense, which of course is stupid because I don't want to run into another Metapod again. No! All right, I gotta stay away from the tall grass. All right, let me see my Pokemon. Should I change my? Nah, you know what? Sprouts will do it himself. All right, so we're gonna start for our Pokemon battles. Yeah, we started off with Chris, but this time we're gonna do it for real. Random f uh, trainers. Starting off with bug catchers. Bug catchers, all they have is bugs. He starts off with a Weedle at level six. Uh, Weedle is a bug slash poison Pokemon, and it knows uh, poison sting and string shot. Poison sting can barely actually attack my little uh, Sprouts right here. Sprouts is part poison, and poison moves barely hurt him. So poison sting can actually poison your po uh, opponent, but on uh, on poison Pokemon, it never works. Cause you gotta have to be idiotic to actually do that. Try to find an alternate way to try to poison your Pokemon. Ugh. Yeah, you wouldn't see me do that. It'll, it'll catch me uh, really stupid. All right. Hmm. So anyway, for I've I've been testing out Leech Seed and it's barely doing anything to my uh for my little sprouts right here. Yeah, it's barely taking any damage for a Weedle. Ugh. Oh boy. You know, 
the one thing I don't like about the uh, uh, about these kind of games is actually critical hits when the opponent actually attacks you with a weak spot. I don't know, but let me just try to finish him up and there he's done. That's the first uh, Pokemon. Yeah, two. Okay, you got. Whoa, level eight. Not bad. Good job, Sprout. You got us to level eight. All right. Now he sends out a Caterpie, which is a bug Pokemon. This Pokemon Caterpie can evolve into a Metapod. Yeah, little spoilers. Yeah, Caterpie evolves into a Metapod at level 7. What would you expect? Caterpie and Weedle actually evolve very fast because they are weak Pokemon and they have to evolve fast into the final stage when they get up to. Hmm. When they get up to level 10. I don't know. Anyway, so Caterpie knows Tackle and String Shot. I didn't explain anything about String Shot. Well, technically, all it does is actually just. It just uh, lowers your speed so you go slow. Like a, like, uh, like a little slow poke. Nah, I'm just joking. Alright. So I think one more step from the Leech Seed will do. And come on. Yeah! Not as good. Okay. We're done with the first match. Uh, what does he have to say? Uh, no, Caterpie can't cut it. Oh, forget it. Anyway, I'm not gonna read all of that, but I'm just gonna... I'm gonna read the ones that are funny after they lose. <laughs> uh, okay, I don't, he's not a permanent Pokemon trainer, I don't know why. Anyway, so Bugcatcher wants to fight, sends out a Weedle. Oh, this one's at level 7. Wait, level 7? What? This, this Weedle's at level 7. Why couldn't he evolve right now? Uh, I don't know. Just stupid. Let me just try to get through this one. Uh, tackle. You know, Weedle can be annoying, and I like it. <sighs> well, let me tell you the difference. Uh, in the Red and Forest, uh, catching a Pokemon is actually different. In Red and Blue, you get a uh, Caterpie, Weedle, uh, and some other rare Pokemon. But in uh. In yellow version, which is uh, following the anime, you can't catch a Weedle. You can catch a Caterpie in the uh, Viridian Forest. Weedle is not actually a uh, catchable Pokemon in Pokemon Yellow. It's just so weird. Uh, I don't know, it follows the anime, but it does really good. Alright. The Sprout's got up to level 9! Oh, he's leveling up like mad! Ugh. Whoa, Kakuna! New Pokemon! Nice! Kakuna! Uh, it's a bug slash poison and the evolved form of that little weedle we saw. Alright, I'm seeing a flapper right here to actually start off his first match. Actually, I'm just gonna destroy half his energy. Let's see how much damage it can do. Okay, it's gonna take a while. That's because all I know is it's hardened and it rises to the defense and it'll take a longer time for me to destroy him. Ugh. This is not gonna end well for me. Well, well, I can try the best I can. Let me see. If I could try to get a critical hit, I could actually destroy him. Well, there's one thing I know about uh, Kakunas. Uh, I remember in the anime, there's one rule about Kakunas. Don't wake him up or piss him off. But unless if you made a mistake with them and tried to sort of apologize or whatever. I've seen that in uh, the Diamond and Pearl anime season or whatever. Alright, I switched out to Sprout so I can actually destroy him. Alright, anyway, so you can't piss off Kakuna, because if you do, he'll evolve and try to attack you. I'm not telling you his evolved form, because, you know, no spoiler alert. No spoiler alert, okay? Okay. Let me just try to get through this, okay, sap out the energy from you. Okay. We're almost there. We're almost there. Okay, this is the big finish. This is the big finish. I want to do it. Okay, you might be wondering why I actually uh, swapped out with Sprouts, because I don't want uh, my little flapper to take too much uh, experience, because I don't want him to skip any levels. Well, in this game, you can't you can skip levels at small level, whatever. But in uh, later games, I actually fixed it. You go one level at a time, and it'll kill you a bar right down there. Alright, Flapper's got some experience. Finally, level 5! Not bad, he got it! And this is the reason why, because I want him to learn Sand Attack. Sand Attack actually blinds your opponent. Like how it is says in his Pokemon data, uh, the blind, uh, kicks at the sand at the ground and makes blinding sand. That, that's actually a little clue that tells you that, uh, what Sand Attack is. 
Stand attack lowers your accuracy. That means you can't see a thing. It goes right through your eyes and you can barely see anything. Well, I gotta say, it's kind of funny when I see it in the anime, but it's not actually funny when I see it here. It's just... It just does nothing. It's just a little shake and whatever. Alright, so, I only do this, uh, I'm gonna lower his, uh, accuracy to actually try to attack him. Okay, so, let's see how Flappers will do in this first match. That's yeah, first real match, I meant. When he actually knocked out the Pokemon. Okay, come on. We're almost there. La, 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 la. Come on. Oh, great, one more hit. I need one more hit. Oh, great, no damage for him. No more damage for him. Yes! Nice! I'm good. I'm proud of him. And right away, got up to level 6. Alright. I'm proud of my Pokemon. <sighs> uh, I ran out of Pokemon. You ran out of Pokemon. You can carry 6 up to a dill. You diddle, though. Whatever. Anyway, I got a free antidote. I, You know what? I'm not going to call a any Pokemon trainer on the wild uh, any random names or whatever. No! Okay, sorry about that. I just ran into a wild Caterpie. Okay. Anyway, I I want to do I don't want to do any trash talk after I beat a a, a trainer or whatever. So now we got another free potion. How many free potions we got now? A total of five. Five free potions in the entire game, counting parts one and two together. Okay, why do you think I'm in a hurry? I want to get out of here, cause I'm done. He's the last trainer, and there's about like a total of three trainers here in Generation One. But in the remake, uh, which is in Generation 3, Fire Red and Leaf Green, uh, you, there's about like five trainers in the Viridian Forest. Yeah, you get two extra fights. But, it's kind of, I just want to go with the old school way and actually just fight with, uh, three of those poke, uh, bug catchers around here. What? I'm, I'm into old school. I'm not really fine with the new school, but it's still classic. Classics are good. Okay. I don't know why he's still doing the poison thing. He's still gonna give me more damage. Okay, so I'm gonna try to knock him out. Okay, so we got half his energy down. Oh, we don't still annoying. I don't like it. Um, but you will not. Uh, never mind. Never mind. I don't. I was starting to say something stupid, but I don't want to say anything else stupid. Okay. Here we go. Come on. Ah! Oh! It's like a staff from a leech seed will knock him out. Come on, baby. Cut. Oh, my. Well, Tassel did it. I did it. Whatever. Alright, so Sprout's got experience, and he got to level 10! Nice! The big 1-0. Right away. Okay. <laughs> right. I gave you... Never mind with that. Alright, so I would leave right now, but there is a Pokemon that I really wanted to get right here in the Brilliant Forest. So, let me just try to find him at... Okay, this might be it right now. Yes, this is it! A Pikachu! Pikachu is the Pokemon I really wanted on my team. Because I'm a Pika fan. So, anyway, I'm gonna try to catch him. Pikachu, my favorite electric type Pokemon. I wanna catch him. Okay. Oh, he's doing a growl. Uh, whatever. Alright, I'm throw a Pokeball at him. Okay, cross your fingers, let's see. Okay, one, two. Yeah! Right in the first catch! Oh, yeah! Woo! Yeah! I got a Pikachu. Okay, now his dad is in the Pokedex. Let's see. Pikachu, mouse Pokemon. He's 1 foot 4 inches with 13 pounds and he's Pokemon number 25. When several of these Pokemon gather... They gather? Oh. Well, their electricity could build and cause lightning storms. Whoa! It cause lightning storms? Nice! Well, that gives me a great idea for uh, a name for him. I'm going with Sparky this time, cause, uh, it's named after Richard's, uh, Pokemon from the anime. Yeah, Richard's Pikachu. He nicknamed it Sparky. Speaking of which, I'm gonna actually check out his stats. Okay, so attack 8, defense 6, speed 10, this is the reason why I want Pikachu, and special 8. Nice. Okay. I would, I would try to ma battle with this little thing, but I wouldn't do it right now, but I do need some training. Anyway, this is the uh, second half of Route 2, and right around here we got Pewter City, where we get to start off collecting Pokemon badges. Yes, we're going to collect Pokemon badges in the next video. So, next time on Let's Play Pokemon Blue Version, we're going to go on to the Pokemon Gyms.
yeah, I'm gonna start the first one. See you guys then!